and you hardly think that bullying is a real issue in schools. I want you to meet a little boy named Asher Brown. He lived in Texas. He was 13 years old. And I say was in the past because he shot himself in the head last Thursday. Billy Lucas of Greensburg, Indiana, was just 15 years old when bullying pushed him over the edge. Hi, this is Jamie from Buffalo, New York. I just want to tell you that it does get better. 14-year-old Jamie Rodemeyer took his life son. I think the only bullying experiences I've had has been, you know, about me physically. I mean, a lot of people, when they look at people around the school, they think of people for, uh, like, people that they date as, you know, like, what do they look like? What shape and size are they? And I keep thinking, you know, it's like, just because I'm a full-figured woman doesn't mean I can't have someone who likes me either. Uh, I have a brother who is autistic, but he's on the lower spectrum, but all my life I've been with him and supporting him. He's in Special Olympics and I go and I volunteer. He got teased a lot for being different and he would, he's not able to control his actions, but um, he was still like teased about it. My brother has cerebral palsy, which pretty much means he has, I don't know, physical and mental disabilities, I guess you could say. And like, he like he can like hold, he can like talk and everything, but he's just like a lot less intelligent than like a normal 14 year old would be. And then he has like trouble walking, and like he can like stand and like walk, but like he can't run or like do anything like that. I had some problems with a certain word, retard. Now, some people just use it every now and then when describing something some someone does that's really stupid, but. Whenever I went to elementary school, I could expect to be called that every every single day of the week. My fear of him going to Campo was that there's um, kids who have more severe disabilities than he does. And I experienced that. My own friends, they would tease them, they would throw tennis balls at them, they would push them around, they would prank them. So I had a fear of him coming to Campo and then just people treating him poorly and him getting beaten up and all these different fears. I don't know, with everything, I don't know, I feel like with Ben, because he's like one of the nicest people like you'll ever meet, that people like have never really been mean to him. I've never, like at least since I've been around him, I've never like experienced any intolerance with him, but who knows like what happens at like school and stuff, because I don't go to school with him. The people who kept insulting me are this very same kind of people who harass gays just for being who they are. I have high functioning autism, but I can't help it, it's who I am. But that doesn't make me stupid, it doesn't make me inhuman, it doesn't make me inherently wrong. Being gay doesn't make you inherently wrong either. The truth is, being a gay student at Camp Lindo High School sucks. I used to dread waking up every day having to come to a school where I felt like I didn't belong. I hear the phrase, that's so gay, almost every day. Don't worry though, the homophobia isn't directed at me specifically. It's just a phrase, right? Wrong. The truth is, every single time I hear that phrase, I get angrier. Why would you say that when you know I can hear you? You're just rubbing salt in a wound. It's a miracle I was able to accept myself after hearing about how seemingly anything wrong in the world can be so gay all the time. So take it from me when I say that every time you relate a negative idea or action with the word gay or faggot, you're potentially ruining one of your friend's lives. It's hard being in the closet, and then you hear those words, and it's just, your self-esteem crumbles. It's just people look at you differently, not even in a good sense most of the time. They just look at you like you're a different species or an animal. They don't understand at all. I feel like people still don't understand fully what it's like to be with um, kids with special needs, especially at different spectrums. So I created a club called Project Open Hands spread awareness for people with special needs um, from a low spectrum to a high spectrum and to understand that these kids are just like us and their disability is not a disease that is contagious, we're not going to get them and it, they're completely normal, they're just like us. When I came out to my friends, they were like, okay, so Jeff's gay, it doesn't matter, whatever, we have more important things to be dealing with. If it got better for me, it can get better for you too. It gets better. 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 It gets better.